What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. This video is a little hard for me to do. If anything, I did it for myself, as well as friends and family who know Princess personally, but also the world, especially all the subscribers that we have. Here is Princess across the parking lot from where we parked the box. I let her out to use the bathroom and now she's just laying in the grass because she can't get back up. For the last few days, she has become extremely lethargic and hasn't eaten very much. I figured that it would go away just like anything else, but three days later and here we are. I picked her up and took her to the vet. I wanted answers. I wanted to know what was wrong. Could it be fixed? Can she be saved? Although she is 10, going on 11 in a few months, it is said that the life expectancy of Pomeranians is 12 to 16 years. We weren't ready for the truth or for what was to come. We adopted Princess shortly after New Year's Day in 2012. She was eight weeks old, so that put her birthday approximately November 14th, 2011. She was so perfect and so precious. She loves car rides. She's always happy and puts a smile on your face and always received attention and affection from everyone. Life was simple for Princess. Food, water, and belly rubs. She even enjoyed kids and got along with them well. She is my best friend, my companion, and my co-pilot for this van life journey. She is definitely well traveled as she went on my cross country journey last summer. Here is Sandbridge, Virginia and the Atlantic Ocean. And the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. Did I mention she loves car rides? And this was at a rest stop in Sioux City, South Dakota. She loves to spin around in circles. And she thinks she's a person just like you and I. Now we are in the high desert of Narrows, Oregon. Grass is scarce out here, so take advantage while you can. So here we are finally making it to the Pacific Ocean. She loved every bit of this journey and the ability to see new things that she has never seen before. And I enjoyed every bit of her company as well. While we were out this way, we stopped by the Redwoods Humboldt State Park. These redwood giants are something she will never forget. Seriously though, she loves car rides.
So after driving down the scenic coast of California, we went to the Grand Canyon. She's an awesome navigator. She's so pretty. Ready to go on our next adventure? Let's go. She's also a great companion for when you're sick or not feeling well yourself. And she loves spending time with the family. And so here we are. The prognosis for Princess is that she has uh, cancer through her entire body. She has about eight or nine uh, tumors on her throat uh, and her lungs, as well as a, a large one on her abdomen, which is pressing against her intestine, which is causing her not to eat. Given her age and the fact that she has so many tumors, there is nothing that the vet can do. I'm hopeful that tomorrow will bring better news, but it's only going to prolong the inevitable. So according to the vet, I have two options. Uh, one option would be to keep her as comfortable as possible and let her go on her own. I didn't want to have her put down today because I wanted to spend a few more days with her as well as the family so that everybody was able to uh, say their goodbyes. This video is for memory of Princess to remember her and to celebrate her life as she was and as she is and the, and the perfect puppy that she, she has been. Thanks for watching the video. Leave your uh, thoughts and comments down below. Hopefully I'll see you in the next 